Hi friend, Kat Clausen here. So last week I showed you how I was getting underway with this sketch and um, putting it onto this large canvas, 24 by 48. And um, it's nearly done, but as you can see, I've got this hand yet to paint. So um, I'm going to attempt to hold the camera and paint and talk. So here we go. Um, one thing I like to do is keep my acrylic paint in these little capers jars. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of paint and then just kind of go along here, loose strokes. I got my start as an illustrator, so drawing is just, just like home to me. It just feels like home. Sometimes what you can do is you can twirl the brush and pick up an area of paint on the brush that uh, that you don't have on on uh, the first side. So in other words, um, you don't have to reload the brush with paint quite so often if you kind of um, twirl it like I'll do here and then come back down. Now here's the inside of his hand, his thumb. So when I bought capers uh, jars, um, I went to the grocery store and I, I bought all the capers I could. So they had about nine jars of capers and um, I bought them, bought them out. I always wonder what they must have thought in one day, just kind of a run on capers. But the jars make great little paint pots. Okay, so this is starting to look more like a hand then I'm gonna whoops I'm gonna go in and shade pick up a little more paint now he's got kind of a white um, shirt like a dress shirt I think Lincoln wearing the, the black and the white look was just really smart. He was a genius politician. He worked every angle, like the top hat was a terrific gimmick that he actually started doing back in his days in New Salem. Uh, he was postmaster general at that time, and um, he would carry mail I'm going to pick up a little bit of water, kind of make a gray tone. He would uh, sometimes need to hand deliver mail to some of his uh, folks. And he would keep the mail in his hat, keep it dry. You know, and then that led into keeping speeches um, in his hat instead of using a briefcase. Okay, I picked up a new brush. Always use the largest brush possible for the area. This helps with speed. You don't want to be using like, that That would be similar to trying to wash a floor with a toothbrush. You know, you want to pick up the biggest brush possible for the area. I think gives everything a little bit more life. Okay. Not completely done on the hand, but I thought I would pull this out. I'm going to move the camera also, and um, you can see the painting nearly done. I still have that hat to work on that I told you about, and that's sitting over here. Um, I'm going to have fun gessoing that, so stay tuned next week. You'll see me start that project. Take care, and remember... It's always love.